Good day, my name is Mike Perry from African Reptiles and Venom. The company African Reptiles and Venom have been supplying snake venom for South African vaccine producers since 1999. We keep 900 venomous snakes on the farm to supply that venom. <coughs> the snake you see me holding here is the uh, Puffetta, a very, very common snake in Africa, responsible for many, many snake bites. A short, stocky snake. Uh, triangular shaped head covered in small keel scales. Uh, the venom is uh, mainly cytotoxic. The venom will cause uh, pain and swelling. The syndrome is called painful progressive swelling syndrome. Small percentage of pathetobites will also cause bleeding. The venom causes a uh, tremendous drop in platelets and that can lead to a bleeding syndrome. Uh, if you're familiar with this product, so the polyvalent from SAIMR or South African Vaccine Producers. Right, this is one of the venoms that's used in the manufacture of the product. Uh, I'm going to extract the venom from the snake. To extract the venom, what I do is I'm going to get the snake to bite through this plastic covered membrane. You can see how the snake is biting and the venom is released inside the receptacle and you can see those long hollow hypodermic needle fangs uh, Puffetters are short stocky snakes uh, they can't move very fast they can strike incredibly fast. So the method of operating for them to capture the prey is to ambush the prey. They move into an area where there's lots of prey. And uh, once they find a suitable position, they will just lie in ambush with the neck in a S shape. And as soon as prey pass within strike range, the snake strikes at 1 40th of a second, bites the prey, injects venom, releases. The bitten rat gives about three jumps and then it's all over for the rat. The snake waits one to two minutes after the strike. So I flicking the tongue, picks up the scent, follows the scent until he then finds the dead rat and swallows the rat. So these snakes are excellent rat traps. Just a pity they also bite lots of uh, cattle and people uh, because they are very well camouflaged. You can see the camouflage pattern on the back which breaks the, the outline of the snake up. And there we go, this is the puff adder. The safest way to release the snake is to just secure the head, get your hand away, then release the head.
the snake that I'm holding here is the West African Gabunator. You can see it's a heavy, bulky snake. They're very powerful snakes. Uh, you can see I'm just dropping it with my uh, fist around the neck like that. You have to have a decent grip on this snake. Uh, they can easily wrench the head free if you don't hold them properly. Um, this snake probably has a mass of more than five kilogram. So of all the snakes that uh, we extract, these are the heaviest bodied snakes. They have uh, the longest fangs of any snake in Africa. Apparently there was a record of uh, 50 millimeters in a snake that was killed in Kenya. I've never seen such a big snake uh, in terms of uh, the fang size, but they do have very impressive fangs. The venom is a cytotoxic mainly. It has a hematoxic component that will cause uh, bleeding. And it has a specific neurotoxin. It's a neurotoxin that attacks the heart muscle. It's called a cardiotoxin. And that cardiotoxin will cause uh, inverted T waves and uh, an increased QT interval in the heart rate. Um, those are uh, very serious conditions that have to be treated with antivenom. In terms of size, these uh, snakes are typically a 1.2 meter snake. It's got a big triangular head, very large venom glands. And they're ambush hunters. They will lie in wait in leaf litter. Their uh, body pattern will give them excellent camouflage in leaf litter. And they remain in leaf litter waiting for a prey item to come past, something like a rat. And a lightning fast strike secures the prey for them. When they strike the rat and they were successful, they raise the head off the ground with the rat in the mouth. They hold onto the rat. So they clear the rat from the leaf litter. And then from that head raised position like that, they will start swallowing the rat. So they keep the head away from leaf litter. They want to swallow leaves with the rat. So there we can see the West African green adder. These snakes occur in West African countries like uh, Nigeria, uh, Benin, Togo, Ghana, uh, Liberia, Guinea, Sierra Leone. Those are typically countries where you'll find this snake. These uh, upright horns on the nose are probably there to break the head pattern. Perhaps it seems like little sprouts coming out of the ground. And um, I think it's more for camouflage. It cannot hurt you. They are just soft horns that grow from the skin. And there we have it, the West African Gaboon Adder, also called Gaboon Viper. <laughs>